Nupa Psych here, and before we head on to the boss schedule, I want to show you something in these worlds. So, in each world, there's a Salmonid and a um, sunken scroll. So, the Salmonid for World 1 is very simple. Mm. Well, um, maybe it's because I'm looking at it. My recording because I'm just high quality is much slower than the actual uh small screen. Now with the sunken scroll you'll have to eat these balloons very quickly or will blow it up and disappear. They wanna be fast. Oh, there's no mistakes. Just happy little accidents. I guess that's how I, uh, I, I would describe all you kiddos up there. <laughs> Welcome to Octo Canyon, the world's most gorgeous gorge. <laughs> Collect all the commemorate commemorative souvenir stickers. That's your little sticker, you know. Cool. It's like these little things that you can get uh eggs from. Time for the actual thing. Now, like I said, up the the first world, uh, the first thing people like judge you all for your first like episode of the series. People might come for the bosses. You can watch episode two through like all the other ones, and maybe you'll get some better quality. Industrial toes into the Octo Oven. You wouldn't think that shooters would have good boss fights. Well, you're mistaken. Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 1 have great boss fights. You know why? Because this isn't a normal shooter. This is a Nintendo shooter. They gotta mix it up somehow. You have your ink? Four twenty-five of degrees of pain. Octo oven. It's a tentacle. It's a hentai tentacle. This boss fight is great. It, it's the toes. I wish it said four twenty degrees of pain. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <open. laughs> All right. So um, I'm gonna go up here. Maybe I should look at the screen. And you want to hit the hentai tentacle? You're supposed to be in in. You're supposed to be an anti. That's Splatoon. Do not stop. <laughs> We're real with your puns. Now we can't use that. It's getting harder. <sighs> you said that after making an anti reference. Oh, that's, uh... oh, wait. What? No! Oh god! I almost got- I almost got baked by the- Shoot! I'm looking at the screen. Ugh. Maybe I can still beat you. I almost got- I almost got baked by this thing. Good, but do not start on looking around. <laughs> now they're getting extra crispy. Extra toasty. So, yeah. 
Whoa, okay, so now... Oh, wait, that's right. So here's a little pro strat, okay, guys? There, and now he doesn't do that. And armor's back. It's not like a pro strat, it's more of like a little tip. I'm doing much better by looking at the actual screen. <laughs> Alright. This guy's toast. Wait, whoa! That's what Marie says! <laughs> I didn't even know! <laughs> Their faces are so funny. Oh god, imagine if that was blood. Whoa. Not so kid friendly, are we now? Yeah, if you were salmon and being the boss. I love levitating with my little fishy zapfish pal. Good work, Agent 4. I sure know how to cook a mock. Gotta hand it to the Arcturians, though. I didn't expect them to have fully operational Octo bosses at their disposal. I think it's time to call in the big guns. Let's see how Sheldon... Can you hear me? Over. I hear you loud and clear. Marie! Over! Oh man! This is so cool! Uh -huh. It's at four. I'm Sheldon from Animal Knights. The only weapon shop in Ecopolis with over 442 million years in, of trusted service. That's right. Stop by Ammo Nights in Ecopolis Square for all your working needs. Tell me, Sheldon. Marie told me everything. To think that my signature weapons can be of help to the new school geeks platoon on honored. But I'm afraid I can't let you treat my vast ar arsenal like an all of you can eat buffet. I do not have business to run, you know. So let's help each other out. I want you to help me test out some new weapons I'm currently developing. All you have to do is use them in the real world conditions. If you do that for me, I'll be able to gather all sorts of amazing data. That data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapons. And once the retail versions are out, you can use them in turf war battles. It's a real win-win, don't you think? Oh, yeah. And? Okay, down, boy. I think Agent 4 gets the point. Let's get back to work, Agent 4. Stay fresh. Wow, the glass just disappears. Good work, you can now use my ammo knights and hands of fire next to my cuttlefish cabin. <laughs> it's a top of the line vending machine that can enhance your weapons to add bombs to your arsenal. The enhancer doesn't take the cash, it takes power eggs and salmon. Sardinium. It's sardinium. I got it right. I'm just getting everything wrong. It's our video. You guys might correct me in the comments so nobody watches my videos. So you can upgrade them. And that's what the sardinium is used for. So. <laughs> now, uh, we don't have enough power eggs, but we do have enough sardinium for any of these upgrades. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I should have, but where's Marie? So I want to talk to her. Maybe she can give us a little tip about life.
Marie, where are you? I need your tip on life. The heck is Marie? I want your tips about life. What is your number one tip of life? You know, you remind me of Ancient 3. If Ancient 3 were like two years older, and, oh, um, that's your tip for life. So, you remind me of Agent 3, like two years older. That's my tip and Marie's tip for life. Um, anything else to say? To the next area. In the next week. Let's do it.